All right, welcome back to another video. Okay, that was a creepy intro right there. Actually, not the intro. It was just me looking down at the mic. So this is about the 10th time I've tried to record this quick video. And, dude, like I keep saying stupid things or I'm not switching my my tabs here right so the video source is wrong like i'm i'm sitting here trying to explain my linux environment looking at it going this is amazing look how cool this is and i look over at the camera and it's just my face full screen well i mean obviously you guys can't see what i'm looking at through my eyes all you can see is what my camera sees which is my face so we're going to go ahead and switch right over to the desktop Woo! look at that okay so this video is going to be about a tool i use in my quest to Replace a Windows desktop with a Linux a Linux desktop. So my favorite Linux desktop instance, or excuse me, not instance, distribution is Ubuntu. So I've tried Fedora. Fedora is pretty good as well. But those are really the only two that I've tried with uh, much persistence. So um, I'm using Ubuntu here. And um, there's quite a few tools that I use, actually, on a regular basis that I've used in Windows or a similar tool that I've used in Windows. And now I have an open source or, or free version in Linux with one exception. Um, I am a network engineer by trade. Um, I also used to be a Windows engineer, so I do both sides of the uh, infrastructure, Windows and networking. And basically, there's one tool that I can't get past because it's just so awesome, and it, they've got a great download for Win well, Windows and Linux, and that is Secure CRT. So if you're into SSH sessions and you want to do tab SSH and organize your SSH, Secure CRT cannot be beat. There is literally nothing better than Secure CRT. Yes, you can go get PAC Manager. I've used PAC, but it's clunky. Secure CRT, you can export your settings, and it's transferable between the uh, Linux and Windows environments, and it just works every time. I've never had issues with it. But anyhow, that's not what this topic's about. This video is going to be about Ramina. Ramina is a remote desktop application. And if you do any administration at all and you want to talk, uh, communicate with a Windows box or remote control a Windows box, there's nothing really better than this, this client. Ramina is so good, I kind of wish they had something on the Windows side that was like Ramina, remote desktop client. So you can add connections in here and you can save them and save your passwords and just you know collect all your servers in here or whatever you're connecting to. Um, at work, I've got probably 20, 30 in there. So as you can see in the settings here, you can do server username. You can save your password. You can put in a domain name if it's a domain join box. Color depth, I like to set it to high color. By default, it's one of these GFX ones, and Windows doesn't seem to know what to do with that, so you're going to have to switch that over. And under advanced, I've got sound. Sound is moving across. I just do medium quality. It's not like I'm listening to a bunch of music across it and I, I'm worrying about fidelity or anything. And for quality, I also do poor. And the reason I like poor is because I want the response of the windows to be very fast. And I don't want it to feel like I'm on a remote desktop. Because if you have ever worked on a remote desktop for hours and hours, you get, you get like fed up with the delay that you have on the screen. So you really want to limit that delay as much as possible so it feels like you're naturally on the box. So let's get started. So I, I'm going to remote into a box that literally sits right over there. And... Um, it's on a gig network between my computer and that one, so I'm not doing any simulation like what Ramina is like across a VPN tunnel, but I can tell you it's pretty good because I do use it. But this simulation is going to be on a gig network. We've got you know, zero millisecond ping times. Maybe it's one millisecond, whatever it is. It's really fast. And um, it's a Windows 10 box with an SSD, so we're going to go ahead and sign into that. And you can see just how fast I just logged in. So yes, the user session was already loaded, so it just had to connect to the remote desktop, con uh, the user contact session. And um, it, so it was fast, right? But that aside, I wanted to show just how fast Ramina is. So remember, I'm on a Linux box right here. Yes, that's the whole point of this video is I'm using Ubuntu, and I just remote desktop into a Windows machine. So as you can see, it's actually pretty good. It's, it's a speedy, speedy environment. The Windows refresh very well. Um, before I get any further on that, I wanted to show that you can do this button here and switch it to full screen. So now it literally looks like I'm using Windows 10. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. So what I wanted to show you, though, is I'm going to leave it in this full screen mode here. So you can see the little drop down right there, and you can get it out by just clicking this button. But I'm going to show you a video. So this is a video I posted on my YouTube channel, and I wanted to show you just how well it is even going to transfer frame rate from a video and audio to the recording. So keep in mind, this is, this is a Chrome instance inside the Windows box, and that video and audio is going through the remote desktop, which is provided by Ramina. And as you can see, there's a little delay there, but it's not choppy at all. This is actually really fairly good. Why or how so, I got this. again, 
This is moving across the remote desktop. You can actually watch. Doing something terribly important. You can actually watch a YouTube video theater. So you can see there's a little bit of chop going on. You can see that. You're one arrogant jackass. See it? Oh, bad words. Your anger isn't intimidating. So basically, I just wanted to show you that. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty impressive, to be honest with you. And the other thing I wanted to show you before I log out of this really quick. So I just switched out of full screen mode. That's what I'm doing here. Uh, it's got scaling. So I, by default, like it to scale. Because then you can you can set it to 1920 by 1080 as the res, and you can technically move this thing around like this, see? And so I can have this 1920 res in this screen here, but I can have the Ramona, Remina desktop look like this, so it shrinks it down for me. So it gives me more real estate on my desktop here, but I can still see what I'm doing in the remote desktop, and it doesn't change the resolution in here, which means these windows will fit better. So anybody that's ever administered Windows environments and you're doing a bunch of remote desktops everywhere, you don't want it changing the resolutions really because it'll mess up. Like screens won't fit and you can't get the options to be like, hey, this resolution's not big enough, whatnot. So anyhow, so that's basically gonna be it. This is probably the best remote desktop tool out there. It's called Ramina. And uh that's probably it. You can probably just get it right. I think I downloaded it straight from Ramina's site. It's either that or in the uh, Ubuntu store. Actually, let's check that out right now. Was that two M's? Yeah, there it is. So if you go to the Ubuntu store, there it is right here. It's this one. Yeah, that's likely where I installed it from. So anyhow, that's hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope uh, this provided some useful insight to you about remote desktop tools for Ubuntu. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.